Yo, what up? It's Brendan. I'm Brandon. And this is the the, the, the Bruise and Bros Podcast. All right, for real this time, there it is. All right, B. So, <clears throat> should there have been a third bomb? Where would you have put it? Where would you have put it? Edo. 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 What was it called at the time? Was it Tokyo at that time? That'd be the one. I think so. Yeah. Just right I think there. it was Tokyo. <laughs> be like, you can't surrender with no capital. <laughs> That's big. True. Big. True. We'll just take, just over keep... take over the whole island. Take over the whole thing. Take over the whole thing. That'd Imagine be kind of cool. Somebody just up north doesn't even know what's going on. Just mind the business. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, a bunch of white people. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's no good, bro. Was well, two bombs enough? <laughs> Yo, that would have been crazy. Just start sneaking in like one one American like every couple of days. Just slowly, and there's just like slowly populate the island over just years. Kidnap someone, but they put an American in, and they're like, "What?" Or just, just like, just like stop all conflict completely, right? Just slowly, like, just like, just be like, put the blockade, give them supplies, give them food, so they're not dying. You know, they can keep their culture, all that stuff. But slowly, on each ship, one one American is getting sent onto the island. And they're slowly infiltrating until eventually... They start noticing, hey, wait a minute. They start noticing, wait a second. <laughs> there weren't this many white people in this neighborhood <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's it's funny because you white people but if you use any other race. It's just like, no, we, that's racist. Stop. Uh, like, oh, man, there's a lot of black people showing up. They can't do that. That's a big no-no. They'd be like, whoa. They'd be like, they'd notice immediately. Especially in Japan. They'd be like, what? They'd be like, wait a second. No, 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 sir. Sir, not to be that guy, but you definitely don't belong here. This is not your home. This is not where you're from, and I can guarantee it. What about the black samurai? No, no, no. There was one of him. There's a bunch of you. <laughs> what do you mean, you? you know, I mean, I, okay, that's enough. That's too far. We Welcome fall. back to the Booster Bros podcast. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell that we're missing one person. It's because he um, wanted to bake cookies. Which is fine, grand scheme of things. But I think it was a very last minute plan thing. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I have no idea. He ain't gonna listen to this episode. He ain't gonna listen. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he don't want to record. He he would rather be because that was the one plan he remembered. <laughs> yeah, no, I bet you his girlfriend tripped him into it. Nah, dude, he out there. He don't even hear us talking shit about him. He don't even know. He ain't even gonna listen to this episode. He ain't gonna know. Someone's gonna be like, hey man. He was talking shit like we wasn't. You right there. You I'd be like, what are you yourself. talking? I'd be like, dude, what are you talking about? The doors record- unlocked. You right I'd be, there. I'd be like, dude, what are you talking about? We recorded an episode with you. We'll gaslight him. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're wrong. You were there. No, dude, you were there. Mandela effect. We were there. No, it's like, dude, we were all there. Remember? I sat here. You sat there. And he sat there. Yeah. He'll be like, no, that was two weeks ago. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we were all there. We had pizza. Remember, Stephanie. Went to the parade of lights with you, and then she left. <laughs> you guys were supposed to, to, sleep to you guys were supposed to bake cookies, but she ended up not feeling very well, so she went home, and so she'd come back in the morning. I wish there was a way to like hide an episode from one person, hide it from him, and be like, what are you talking just about? one person in particular, <laughs> dude, that would be fucking funny. He could never do anything about it, and the part of me is like, he obviously either he can't hear us, or he's like, he's breaking inside. Like, oh, he's just no. dying, just fucking melting. He's like, I hear them. <laughs> I hear them laughing. I hear them laughing in there. I think we're watching a YouTube video. Like, oh, they're just dicking around here. Yeah, we're dicking around. That's the hope. That's the hope. But- <laughs> COVID here, like eleven. Like, when we doing podcast boys? Well, oh man, God, that was like, I was like, oh, we've got. I was God. like, oh no, we've the, been, the jig is up. <laughs> we've been had. <laughs> we can't escape our reality. If y'all didn't hear that. He yelled at his daughter outside the room about something, but <laughs> we thought the jig was up. We were like, oh, "Always, ladies and gentlemen," because <laughs> we, we got, got him. Because we hear, "Hey," and I was like, "Oh, we both turned around to be like, oh no." Oh man, that this made me kind of nervous. You know what I'm Bro, saying? I feel I feel like I shouldn't be doing it. Was, and that's why it was okay. Part of me feels kind of bad. I don't. <clears throat> he grew, but he like, and that, but that's where it's at. Like at the same time, it's like, dude, like. If you want to do this, like, I'm not going to stay up till 11 o'clock. Like, that's not who I am. I'm not the guy who's going to sit here and stay up 
you know, all hours of the night because of whatever. Yeah, so I'll read your team played on Thursday. So <laughs> it's not even it has it doesn't even have anything to do with that. It's just <coughs> I don't want to be up that late. Like I was up like so late last night. Like I just mm-hmm. it was just it was not fun. And like it get it gets to the point where like you're like you sleep for enough hours and you get like a a, a set routine mm-hmm. that you kind of just like anything past that or anything outside of those parameters will f- it'll it'll destroy you. It ruins your day. Yeah, we got scary videos to watch. It gives bro. gives me heartburn. <laughs> makes me feel like I'm dying. I think that's what it is. Me, me not like feeling very. I, I, it's not. I don't think it's what we. I, just, I mean, I think it is what we ate, but I think I just have heartburn. <laughs> you feel the acidicness in your throat. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. That's word. exactly what it is. I didn't know. I thought I was just like dying. And my dad's like, no, it's heartburn. I'm like, oh, this is what it feels like. I mean, I've, I've been having this since I was like a toddler, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 not a fun it's not a fun activity by any stretch America, of the imagination. Bro. Heartburn. Yo, we feel- it's been it's been five minutes. We've covered a lot of ground. I, <laughs> I feel like we have covered a ton of ground, and it's been a while. It's it's been a wild ride, and so I'm thinking. I'm, I actually just thought about this. What's up? This will be a, like a two parter. A two parter. So essentially, he's gonna have to show up at some point, and I if he shows so. up in the middle, that's whatever. But that's not my problem. What is his problem, <laughs> and our problem? We're still talking. Is the fact that if he does listen to this episode, someone is probably going to get killed. <laughs> Bro, I'll be at work and I'll just get a message from you that says, hey, come over. But it's not you, it's him on your phone. Yo, it's like that Mandela catalog crap. That's, that Yo, poop's scary. Sp- spooky stuff, guys. Spooky stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Some of it's kind of just like... Some of it's kind of goofy, <laughs> super for sure. Goofy, but super goofy. The concept in general, like as they did everything, kind of spooky. Yes, sir. Acting kind of just... booty, but... I wouldn't even say it's acting. Well, like when they do you know the voice I, acting, the "Hey, man, can you I, go check that, our security?" And cameras? I think that's I think that's part of the point. I think that's part of like the draw to it is that it's supposed to just kind of be like generic, like a campy B movie, kind of, sort of, but like more generic than that. It's just people on YouTube having fun. Yeah. It's creepy, but I'm not here to scare nobody or give nobody bad ah. feelings. We're, <laughs> we're here to have fun. So, in uh, the joys of fun. Top 10 MILFs. Uh, number 10, Lisa Ann. I don't know if she has kids, but we'll just pretend she does. Uh, number 9. Uh, so you got to think about it. I'm not to, not to cut you off. But let's <laughs> let's be real about the category. Because that, that, it's it's something I've always wondered about. The top 10 MILFs? Not, not specifically the top 10 MILFs. Specifically, why those particular women, it's either they have kids or in, it's weird. Like, do they have to have kids to be put into that category? Like, yes, do you think Brandy Love has kids? She does. She does. Oh, gosh. But, like, the thing is, you to be classified, you have to. However, since a lot of it's considered acting, that's what I'm they saying. They can be, like, acting, but, like, the oh, draw so of it. like a MILF. It's because they're a little bit older, right? Yeah. So that's the draw in, like, the, 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 the pornography. That's the draw. But, like, in real life, a MILF, you have to have Well, I kids. obviously, I understand that. Like, like you I can understand be a that concept. and be a MILF. But if you don't, have but I think kids, cougar you takes precedent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of like you could be a you could be a sir, but you're a doctor. Yeah, and I think a doctor takes precedent. It over does. Being a but sir. I'm saying you could be both. But like, if like you don't both. have kids, you can't like actually be. Both. Yeah, like I get like, that. I, like you can pretend like, oh, it's milf ish, sure, but you're not a milf. You're not like actually part of that gang. Yeah. I don't know why we got on this subject. That's not the one, bro. That ain't the move. <laughs> That's not the move. That's not the move. I was just trying to like segue and break off. We can no, talk about. It's just, it's just I, so I wasn't I really feel, prepared. Like I was prepared, but I thought this. But like, I, but, wasn't but like I said, like I said, we, we talked about a lot of stuff today, and I think that didn't really help. I feel, it, and it almost felt like right before we sat down to do this, it was kind of like I feel like I dream. was kind of talked out almost in a weird well, way because we recorded the gameplay. And then I started to think about it, and I was like, maybe we should just record the podcast, like, right now. Yeah. But also, <clears throat> like, what we talked about, like, a lot of not no, I guess, funny no, I guess stuff it was, today I guess it, yeah, it wasn't not funny. It was, I guess it was way more in-depth. And, and I'm not trying to say, like, oh, we don't always, like, we're not always trying to be like, just funny funny. We just try to take your guys's like, you know, the world's too serious. But <clears throat> me and this fellow here, specifically, the reason we were on hiatus is there's just been a lot of stuff, just, like, mental health-wise. And so... As we hang out, we uh, 
we had a bunch of hard hard conversations earlier and you know it's just stuff you can talk about with your bros and just you know are we gonna talk about it on here probably not it's not really the place nor the time because that's I'm not trying to bring drama to this. Oh, no. Bro, imagine <clears throat> certain people getting wind about this and then... You know what? Hello? Honest to God, part of me would like... Oh, so you've heard of me. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of be like, oh, shit, I'm famous. To the point where I have haters trying to call me, dude. I have people who are fucking... Dude, they're not happy, bro. I mean, they hated me before, but now they really... Right, but now they're... Big fucking man. They hated me because of issues prior, but now they hate me because I'm fame. <laughs> <laughs> like Pitbull said, bro, I love my haters. But like, I'm at the point where it's like, what do you like? Why would you do that? Like, why? Like, if you hate somebody that bad, why would you go out of your way mm-hmm. to call that person and be like, I was listening to your podcast and I heard you talking shit? Because Jesus. I'm gonna talk about you know experience i had made a post on a social media oh, website me so did i but i didn't i didn't use any names oh, that's <clears> i so. just i just talked about how something happened and then i got a call about that and i'm like why are you obsessed one you have me blocked two i didn't even use your name you feel guilty about something mm-hmm. and then they were like i'm like you got too much free time and always the unemployed people got the most to say and if you don't have a job that more power to you here's the thing I don't care if you don't have a job. I don't there's, care. There's, there's a difference between being unemployed because of, <laughs> you know, say, the pandemic, right? Well, even that. It's, I don't care what kind of job you work. Like, I don't care how oh, much money sure. you make. I don't care if you're unemployed. What I care about is how you act. And if you <laughs> act a certain way, you're I will roast you for that. <laughs> you're unemployed. Like, if you're unemployed and you're a decent person, I'm like, man, you know, it yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, good luck, man. But if you're an asshole and you're unemployed, guess what? Unemployed. The unemployed people got the most shit to yes, say. Yes, sir. That's yes, just how sir. it is. McDonald's, like, bro, you work at McDonald's, I salute you. More power to you. But you an asshole? Oh, that's why you work at McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's I don't care what you do, oh, but dude. once you once you treat me bad, I'm going to make it a joke what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I, I guess that's a fair point. You caught uh, in the crossfire. <laughs> I guess that's a fair point. I guess that's. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I guess that that would make a lot of sense. Like, typically, I don't care. And I remember, you know, like making fun of people. And it's like, well, why would you make fun of people for being in that situation? Yeah. Like when you could be in that situation. Exactly. And it's like, well, yeah, that's true. But like, you know, so that's yeah, just. I don't. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not picking and choosing. I'm not everybody. You. Everybody getting the smoke. Exactly. I'm not roasting you because you're doing your job, but. Like I said, you an asshole. I'm going to roast you for that job, bro. Someone can work at the same job, and they can be cool. And it's like, yo, right on. You work, and you and boy, you making money. Yo, that's my boy, though. You, you know an asshole? Saying? It's like, yo, that's why you broke. Kinda you like, working a broke-ass bum job. <laughs> kind of like a certain delivery guy that we may or may not have had to deal with tonight. I can't remember his name, but I will say. I don't think he ever told me his name. He done worked at a pizza place, and he want to have attitude about delivering pizza. I think his attitude was is that like he couldn't comprehend that we were like on our way downstairs to go get the fucking pizza. Oh my god, y'all! This is such a like <laughs> this, is, this is the vent cast today. It's, it's so fucking petty. I get it. I really do. I understand why it's petty, and I understand how it's petty. But at the same time, if I if you call me and you're like, "Hey man, I'm here to deliver your pizza." Yeah. I don't know which door you're talking about. <laughs> where should I meet you at? Okay, this is where. The door I'll is at. Meet you downstairs. He says, and I so I asked him. I said, "This is where you should meet me at." He goes, "I said, does that make any sense?" And he goes, um, "I guess." And I said, "Look, dude, I'm gonna come downstairs. I will find you." Mm-hmm. And he goes, "Well, what if I'm not on the right side of the building?" I said, "Look, just be at the building. I will. Walk I'm, the building. I'm- I will walk the building. Like it ha- I was like, dude, it literally happens all the time that we have to help delivery people get into the building." Or we, there's a mix-up in what door to meet them at. I was mm-hmm. like, it, trust me, it happens. Then we finally get to the guy. We obviously are the people who are picking up the fucking pizza. <laughs> obviously. You, you Brandon? Who else? Who else am I? <laughs> oh, my Dave? My Thomas? Like, I specifically came to you ready, like, hey, I don't know. What a what a nightmare. This is the vent cast. And then we went to a cool little shop today that I used to love going to, and now it's all Funky. Oh, yeah. I didn't like that. We, the it was, whole layout. It, it, so, it's on, for, you know, listeners, it, it's an auction house thing that we go to. They had a whole auction room, but, like, the rest of the floor is kind of like an indoor flea market kind of deal where <clears throat> vendors, they put their stuff out. 
and you can go and you take it up front. They have stickers and, you know, they contact the sellers if you want to negotiate, but you can buy it. But they turn the majority of it into, like, an auction floor now, and it's just so small and cramped. It's not nearly as cool. No, it, like, took away the charm. It's booty now. And they got some some stuff in there, like, good stuff, but it's, like, it's too crowded. It's just, it, it, I don't know. <laughs> just I, don't, just, I don't know. I guess I'm... Today, I guess today was kind of weird. Yesterday, I think yesterday is what threw everything off. Yeah, and I'm mad because it's Saturday night. Yes, sir. And I'm like, I'm realizing I'm all mad. What happened? What the I was, I was, I was thinking about that at like four o'clock. We didn't do nothing. We went to this place called Manitou, and the parking was awful. I paid for two hours of parking, only two dollars, but didn't even stay there for thirty minutes. Well, because, okay, and so that's my thing with Manitou. Mm-hmm. Manitou is cool is if you are a tourist. Yeah, or if there's like more places you want to go and money you want to spend. But some of the stuff that I was like, we came here for like one specific thing. I was like, oh, maybe there's more, but. And I get why you have to pay for parking down there. It's like downtown. Yeah. But it's at the its same own time. It's city. Like, town. Like, I get it. But at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it's not expensive parking. That's not what we're complaining about. No. I'm complaining about the fact that not only do you have to pay for parking, but if you're only down there to grab one thing, mm-hmm. it's just like it's like okay, I gotta pay an hour, and I'm paying a dollar. I'm paying an extra dollar. <laughs> Might as well get there at six a.m. Beat the rush before anything's even open, just to get a parking. And you can't spot. do anything, and you can't do anything at six a.m. because nothing's open because it's a fucking town full of hippies, no and every stuff. nothing fucking opens till fucking past ten o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, everything's it's just weird. The whole town's weird. Like I said, this is the vent cast today. What else can I vent about? The radio and your truck don't work no more i'm mad about that no <laughs> yeah i well i'm not mad about it necessarily anymore it sucks sometimes like there are times where like i just like when i'm going home like if i'm listening to like a really interesting podcast it's like i now have to wait to get home to go i i, I don't listen to podcasts at home and you're like well yeah no because you're like desensitized like the music stuff it's always good like for the road and then when you're home it's like okay i'm home i gotta do home stuff yeah so like i i, I like typically like will almost never listen to music at home Unless, like, I'm, like, doing something. And even then, typically, I won't. It's, a, it's like, a... It's a specifically, like, at-work thing that, I, that I'll that i do that. And... But other than that, like, I typically don't like wearing my headphones. Like, I'll wear them, like, you know, if I'm, like, watching YouTube videos or something before I go to bed. Mm-hmm. I'll wear them, but... Yeah, for the just, most part, it's just... It's, it's not worth it to... No, because I like it when I'm driving. I'm like, cool, I can... You know, jam out or just listen to them tell me stories. Yeah, and I do it at work just because, because <coughs> it helps uh, time go by, mm. and it's just I don't know. It's just not something that I like to do at home. Like I'll try to watch them on YouTube. It's just it's it's weird watching a podcast. Sometimes yeah, sometimes it's cool, but like it's just it's not different to watch like a talk show, like the Sports Network and stuff, like where they talk in the. It's just a little different. Enough. I think, and, and, and so I think that's different. I think like watching like um, like pregame shows for sports or mm. stuff like that. Like there's, a, it's a little bit more interactive because they're showing you stuff. Yeah, and I guess that makes sense. Like highlights and stuff, and you're like seeing they're kind of breaking down stuff. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> or like watching like uh, or like listening to the Joe Rogan podcast since it's only on Spotify, mm-hmm. so you can watch the videos on your phone. Mm-hmm. But when you like try to watch them like on TV. Like, through, like, your Xbox app. I don't know. I haven't tried it on the PlayStation, so I won't swear to it, but I'm going to assume that it's the same thing. The video doesn't show up. It's just the audio. Yep. And so it's, like, it's not worth it. Like, no. I, And I'm not going to sit there on my phone because <clears> then it's just going to drain my battery. Which is why I'm happy, like, we put this on YouTube and Spotify so people can drive and listen. And yeah. If you do listen from your computer, more power to your phone, whatever, like, we appreciate it, but drive and listen to us that kind of bus. I think that's probably like I feel like that's like the best way to listen to a podcast anyway just outdoors even like on a hike just when you're out and about not like doing anything like mm-hmm. important important <coughs> golly sorry what do I know I don't know nothing bro oh, just... man, my water bottle's way over there bro you suck <sighs> keep having it dude I still gotta order some bevies before anything closes so I'm not trying to I don't want to go anywhere no, for I'm the rest not, of the night that's what I'm saying I'm trying to door that song but I ain't sharing with them. No, sir. But no, no, and it's just, I don't know. It's just, podcasts are one of those things where it's, 
I think it's like a it's like a time and a place thing. You know what? <clears throat> Check this out. We we ain't gonna discuss no names, but let's roast that one person that 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 you was talking to the day, and I was like, yeah, dude, probably a junkie. Just a fun no, little no, story. No, so like I said, <laughs> there's a difference, and I think you're using that word in the wrong context. You can do drugs and not necessarily be a junkie, right? No, but she a junkie, bro. I don't think so. She might have the looks. A person with a compulsive habit or obsessive dependency on something. Not drunk, just something. So you'd be a junkie. So you'd be a junkie for video games. Yeah, then. you're still a junkie. But see, that, like, it just, it just seems so off <laughs> to be like, oh, you play video games all the time? You junkie. Well, the, well, the issue is... You, you live in a trap house, well, you no. junkie. Well, the thing is, <laughs> junkie, when you say it by itself, it's usually implied for drugs. But people will say, you're a video game junkie. Well, I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Like, yo, you're an adrenaline junkie. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, like yeah. I get that. He but, like, if you just, like, out in the world and you're just like, yo, that guy looks like a junkie. You know what I'm saying? You're, like, you're like, no, 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 he's no. He's doing drugs. No, no, no. He just plays a lot of video games. What? There's no one Yes, and then you got to. <laughs> and then you're like, no, you got to look up the definition. And it's like, no, see, look. Technically now, speaking, he's a junkie. Yeah, now all the potheads are going to come out like, you ain't talking. We ain't talking to you, fool. We're well, talking about they're junkies. They're- Bro, they're the biggest junkies, a hundred percent. If you listen, if you feel offended and you feel like a junkie, like that's on you for being a junkie. We ain't talking to nobody specifically, except for that one person. But it's just, I don't know. I, there's so much that's happened in like this little span of time. Dude, yesterday was a shit show, but like not <laughs> like in a bad way. Like it wasn't a shit show, like in a bad way. And and same thing with today. It's just there was so much going on, and there was like so much that like I like. For me, like, I had to do, like, Christmas shopping, and, yeah. like, I still Sorry, have to, me. like, at some point, I actually have to go grocery shopping, um, and all of that stuff, and it's, like, there's, like, it's just, like, little things mm-hmm. that keep adding up, and they just keep adding up. It really is. I just hope that that don't get heard through this. Sorry, there's music playing in the background. Right I mean, now. if anything, YouTube, don't, don't copyright us. We, we have nothing to do with this. <laughs> we have nothing to do with it. It's not, <laughs> we're being held against our will. This Yo. is this is why this is why we're doing this. Well, <laughs> yeah. So the great in the grand scheme of things, like I said, I don't think that she was because I, when I was talking to her and I asked her, I said I was like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never done that before, because she was referring to doing mushrooms, everybody. Yeah. And I said, well, I was like, if I'm being honest, I've never done that because, like, you know, mushrooms. Like, you heard someone talk about mushrooms. It's like a delicate experience. It's it's typically. Typically, it's something that they do quite often. Yeah. Put Especially if it's brought up that early in a conversation. Exactly. Put them on za, everything. You know, and so I was like, you know, I've never done them before. She goes, well, neither have I. And I was like, what? Like, n- that, that's not something you just randomly bring up. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, it's just, it's not. You don't just randomly bring up. To someone you just met on the internet, that's like walking around in public or going out to a bar and meeting uh-huh. people and being like, <clears throat> and being like, you know what? I'm gonna go do shrooms. They're gonna think you're a fucking weirdo. <coughs> different strokes for different folks, I guess. But for sure, and I mean, it's just, but like, it's. But it was just some of the jargon because you showed me the photo. I was like, sounds off, and she's like, you know, it, if you don't have a car, it is what it is. But just the whole vibe that she was giving off, like, with the way she was speaking, I was like, hold something on. Seemed, something seemed kind of off. Like, she's like, well, I'm going to, because this is how she said it, y'all, because, you know, on, on jaw, she said, I'm going to walk to the bank, give me some money to get shrooms. And I was like, that whole sentence, like, the, you, you clarified you're walking to the bank. You didn't say I'm going to the bank. Clarified you're going to walk to pull money out specifically to get, to get shrooms. And it's not anything just like, okay, whatever, but this is your first, like, conversation with someone, and that's just how you're going to open? But, 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 like I said, to be fair, uh, it's kind of like, it, I'll give, I'll, I'll give her credit for being that open about not having a car. Because a lot of people, like I said, are not open about all that, about s- certain things like that, mm-hmm. because it's, you know, some people might be like, you know, oh, you don't have a car? Mm-hmm. Like, l- like, let's reverse the rules, oh, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, if I was like, yeah, I'm going to go walk to the bank, mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, and I'm talking to a uh, to a lady, mm-hmm. and they're like, well, what do you mean you're going to walk? Mm-hmm. Like, is it just super close? Right. It's like, oh, no, I don't have a car right now. 
Right. And again, I don't want it to be like, oh, you hate people that don't have cars. No, no not sir. At all. It's, a, it's just, it's, it's, it's just the weird... vibe of like how the conversation went, that like certain things are specified the way they are. And then if and you're like, and then if the, but like, I, but like I'm saying, if, if the roles are reversed and, and if, I, if a guy's like, yeah, I don't have a car, mm-hmm. dude, it throws the whole conversation off and to the point where it's like, oh, I don't want to go out with someone who doesn't have a car. We got to work a little harder, certain things. And I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, it was, it was just. We got to work a little harder on certain things on our end. Like, if I want to make OnlyFans, bro, like, I'm sure that there's an audience. <laughs> oh, no, I'm telling you. Chubby, there's... balding man with <laughs> average-sized, erect peener. I'm telling you, there's 100% a market. And because I was having a conversation with someone about it. Uh-huh. And I said, my thing is, is how do you find that market? You just got to be like, hey, yo. How like think about it like how much research do you have to do like who like you have to like I'm like I've always wondered like you know obviously neither of us are gay mm-hmm. and like if we were to make an OnlyFans that would probably be the market that would be <laughs> maybe so maybe weird. the easiest to get into right because a lot of females aren't going to be like oh my gosh I'm going to subscribe to that guy's OnlyFans right the only time that would happen is if that other that that woman is you know. Right. Also a sex worker, and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna do a collab," mm-hmm. or you know, I just like your content or whatever. Well, like think about it like this. Like, there's probably the prime example I could think of. Like, just while you sex work exactly, or like, not 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 only fans or anything, but like sex work just as a whole. Mm-hmm. I should say. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this dude's a rapist now, so fuck him. But Ron Jeremy, uh-huh. then I, there ain't nobody. I can guarantee that was like, heck yeah, dude, I'm ready for the next Ron. Jeremy video. Yeah, but, nobody says that. Exactly. But Homeboy made it. Like, there had, like, it, 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 the size of his thing, but there had to be more to it. There had to be an appeal of, like, yo, I'm <laughs> ugly. And I'm sure there was. Uh-huh. And I'm sure that's part of the reason why certain things like that happen. It's like, you know, that he, like, he's not the most. And I think that's, like, the weird shift from from porn way back in the day, mm-hmm. like in the 70s and the 80s. Them dudes with, like, where the dudes, the all of the dudes. Were gross. Just they just bombers, looked. Steve. They looked like they looked like the fucking Super Mario Bros. You know, they, you got the like the category now where it's like stepdad and all that. Nah, dude, these were the stepdads. Like, these really were like was, just average oh. Joe is getting. And and all of the and all of, and, you know and all the female performers were always attractive, and mm-hmm. all the female all the female performers nowadays also still attractive, but all of the male performers are like. Dude, they're all fucking dime pieces, and it's Greek guys. And I, don't get me wrong, there are some guys mm-hmm. who are in porn now that are not like comparatively, they're not the top of the bell curve. Like they're not the most attractive people uh, in that space. But they have like certain skills or qualifications that they can be like do certain things, or they get like I think there's like a money level. It's like oh, this is that, or blah blah blah. Or we'll I'll, I'll even bring like Brandy Love back into it. Because she's married, the guy she's married to, not like a like dude, you know, like he, he's not anything spectacular. He's like a regular dude. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying because he came from that era where uh-huh. if he was to get into porn mm-hmm. back in the day, he'd fit in perfectly. But nowadays, comparatively, he's not at the top of the bell curve of the most attractive male performers. No, but he's married to one of the, like he's married, married. Like they're like no, you know, I know, and I, and, I, and I understand that, and I'm just. But, you know, like, the women have always been attractive. Like, that's been, like, the key yeah. selling point in porn. All I know is Riley Reed said, I was insecure if I can't marry a porn star. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have I don't, option. I don't know if... Because I only... It was only a snippet of the conversation. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to assume that what they were talking about is they were talking about her current dating situation. Wild that she's an active duty performer. Like, I think, and yeah, because if it is something if you know, and you're going into it. Like, sure, I feel like, like it, that's like, like you like should it, not be. You should already know. She's not going to just drop it for you. And if she did, right, on, good for you, bro. But like, I don't. You know, if you go in there, I think that that's like supposed to be. And you should know what you're getting yourself into. And not to throw 99 percent of the male population under the bus, <laughs> but I feel like the majority of males. We'll just use the United States as an example. I feel like the majority of males in the United States of America know exactly who Riley Reed is and what it is that she does for a living. Yeah. 
I think that her saying, yeah, if you're trying to date me and you're insecure about what I do, that's your fault. There's a difference between going into it and knowing like, hey, this is what you do and being okay with it and being like, that's totally fine. Like, that's your job. Like, I get that it's not something that like, like you're able as a, as a man to separate those emotions and be like, I know that she doesn't actually like these people and I'm okay with that versus I know what you do for a living and Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. But that is not my thing. I'm not about that. Like, there's just something about it. I don't know what it is. It's not an insecurity. I just don't like you. And it's not. It has. And I. And I think it also gets misconstrued as guys being possessive, yeah. and being like, "Oh, well, you don't want me just to live my life." And it's like it has nothing to do with that. I just. That's not what I'm into. I'm not into you sleeping with other people while we're trying to have a committed relationship. That's just not who I am. That's not my vibe. And I feel like there's a lot of guys out there who have that same feeling where it's like, I just don't want you to do that while we are together. Like, I feel it's different. If you go into a relationship and everything's going honky dory and then one day she says, this is what I want to do. And then you're kind of like, way different. Yeah. yeah, Cause that's like, it's blindsided. But if you're like, Oh, Riley, like, let's say you watch her videos, Mm -hmm. you know what she does. You go, I want to date her, and you do, and you're like, "Why? Why are you still doing it?" Then you're stupid. Like you knew, you knew. You speaking of, I'm gonna timestamp this right now. Uh, Thirty minute, fifty eight second mark. Riley Reed. I'm just saying. I think I'm willing to give it a try. (laughs) All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna tweet that. We're gonna tweet this podcast. Like if we can clip that. What would I say? Thirty what? Uh, Thirty. Thirty. Thirty fifty. 3058. I'm gonna do another one. 3115. Riley Reed, I'll give it a shot. All right. 3115. Just remember that. <laughs> I'm an average Joe. I I, I don't cheat. <laughs> and so I I mean I, and I don't know. I think that's like the whole thing is that a lot of a lot of guys I think what happens is a lot of the times it starts off as a normal relationship and then especially like with last year and the pandemic is everybody was like, Oh, this is how I'm going to make money because I lost my job or Mm -hmm. whatever. Or this is this, it can, you know, be a little side hustle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm just not, I'm just not comfortable with that. Please don't do this. And not to cut you off, but some of y'all need to humble yourselves. I see what y'all be charging. I see, I see some people like different prices, but some of y'all, y'all need to chill. So, so my thing is, know your worth, but some of y'all chill out. My thing is, is I'm going to be completely honest. I don't give an absolute shit what you fucking charge, charge whatever you want, because there's going to be people out there who are going to pay that price because Mm -hmm. there's going to be people out there who find you attractive. Mm -hmm. But my thing comes from make the content worth the price that you set. So let's say that you set your content at 10 bucks a month. Uh-huh. You can make content that's worth 10 bucks a month. You know, maybe only pictures. You don't do any videos. Not it's, even new, just like lingerie. Stuff, yes, sir. You know, like, you know and it's nothing cool. crazy. 10 bucks, mm-hmm. whatever. Let's say you make it $25. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say that you sh- you couldn't do that exact same thing for $25. Mm-hmm. If there, and there's gonna, like I said, there's going to be a market for it because there's going to be people who pay that price. Right. But you have to understand that people are going to think to themselves, oh, they're charging $25. I must be getting a lot more than someone who's charging $10. And I've, you know, seen that happen where it's you're charging all of this money and your shit is fucking boring. You post the same shit all the time. You like post once a week. Don't interact with people. When you do interact with people, it's to sell something that you're charging even more money for. And it's just a whole thing. And I think a a lot of it has to do, and this is going to sound real dumb, but I think it's because no one knows how to fucking run a business on that website. And the ones who are successful are the ones who know how to run a business, and that's why they treat it like a business. Market promotion. But also, and I think this is the other part, is like, this is my favorite thing. This is capitalism at its best. Like it's a competitive market. So if you're if you're like charging a certain price, and you're like, well, no one's you know, buying my content, and you're like, well, this person's making more money than me, but they're charging less than me. Well, try to peek what they're doing. Maybe they're doing more than what you're doing, and or sometimes, and as and I don't want to be like as superficial as some people, but 
maybe people just aren't feeling you as much as you think. Like you're mm-hmm. not quite, you know, what, what they're wanting. Yeah. And again, more power to you because if you're thinking, oh, this is that, but maybe someone's like, well, I want to see what it's all about. And you can't just be giving you know, free trials, but there are accounts where like, I guess they do, uh, people have two accounts. One will be a free one yeah. where it's very like vanilla, but then others will have charged. But then these people who do like charge ones, sometimes they'll put like free stuff. Um, it's gonna, it's not really free. You still pay to get the content, uh-huh. but then they offer extra content that you have to pay for within the paywall. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I, I think I understood that right. I could be way wrong because I've seen it where they'll have a free, mm-hmm. uh, free page and a paid page, and the free page they'll post just way nothing like, too crazy. But like so, like their paid page is like all out. This is what I post. This is uh, photos, videos, porn, pretty much. Yeah, my free page is previews of what is on my paid page. And you can buy stuff on my free page that is from my paid page, but it's going to cost you a little bit more because you're not paying me to follow this page. So I'm going to right. charge you to kind of make up that difference. Well, and something else is like sometimes they'll have like a deal where you get so many months mm-hmm. and like I get to get you access to like the vault, but sometimes it's kind of a gamble. Like, oh, you can pay for three months. And if they just like do like they, they're like all about it, it's all cool. But say only one person subscribes for that, and they only do content for like just two weeks. And like, oh, this really ain't nothing. And you're like, I just paid for th- three months. Yeah, and and, and I think, and like Again, I said, I think, nothing against y'all. I'm just, you know, capitalism market gotta, you know. And, and like, and that's what I'm saying. I think it's a lot of people just thought, oh, I can just post <laughs> naked pictures of myself on the internet and charge people, and I will make money. And a lot of people, and I would say the overwhelming majority of people who have an OnlyFans account, are like that. And it's, like I said, and the only really successful people on there are the ones who treat it like a business. Yeah. Some people treat it like a hobby, and they're like, why am I not making money? Why am I not making money? It's like, look, And it's like, I want it to be my full-time job, but they don't treat it like work. I'm going to give a shout-out to someone, like, special in my life. Like, they're just important. Like, we always talk and shit. Like, I support them 100%. Her name, Kaylee, bro. She treated it like a job. She treats it like a job. She always be, you know, promoting, marketing. She does a model shoot. She's always busy doing some. Seven days a week, she's always out there doing her thing. And, bro, she making that bread. She making it stack. And, like, it's always for me. Again, not always for me. Like, again, not all your content for every every single person. Not always for me, which is why I'm not, like, again, if you do it, you do it. But I am I personally just can't, like, subscribe to one, you know? Mm-hmm. Not like, oh, you don't want to support me. No, I support you, but I'll support you in other ways because, you know, it, I, it's hard to explain. It's the slippery slope. Oh, 100 percent. Look at uh, so you probably don't know who he is, but he uh, he's like a famous the guy in Dubai, the famous weightlifter Larry Wheels. Larry Wheels. So I don't. I think it was last year. I want to say it was last year. He had come out. So he was with a he was in a uh, in a relationship at the time <clears throat> with someone who was very 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 attractive. And I forget exactly how he said he got into it, but it was like, you know, I subscribed to one and then I subscribed to somebody else. They start with those deals. Again. And then I subscribed to somebody else. And he said, the next thing I know is I maxed out every single one of my credit cards. I was constantly spending money. He's like, I'm in like X amount of dollars worth of debt right now. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know, I fucked up. He's like, he's like, I'm not saying that what you guys are doing is wrong. He's mm-hmm. like, this is something that's on me. He's like, I fucked this up because I have a compulsion problem right. where I couldn't. They, it wasn't. It wasn't enough. <laughs> and that's a whole thing because that's a whole different topic for a different time. But there's this whole thing like with um like a sex addiction thing and just how certain things will like trigger. Like you can have a really like, beautiful woman, but sometimes your mind brain things just happen and there's a whole thing about that with like pornography and gray matter and your brain and just like that's serotonin the, bro that's what the movie don john is about but dude when i was explaining that's exactly what that movie's about is bro. is he can sleep with whoever he wants he gets with these really attractive women but like he says in the movie he's like it just doesn't do it for me these Which, women just don't do it for me he's like i only get actual sexual gratification from watching porn and sometimes, ladies, we love you. Uh, and men, if that's if your if your preference with other men and women with women, whatever you know, do your thing. We love you all. But like sometimes, 
just sex, bro, it just ain't it. Because if you just out there having meaningless, and again, I know this is getting kind of preachy at this point. Like, we went from <laughs> capitalism to, like, just some preachiness. But, like, the meaningless sex, sometimes it just really ain't it. And fun fact, everybody, y'all listen to that band, The Gorillas. Yeah. Yeah, that song, Feel, Feel Good, Inc., is actually about that. Like, meaningless sex and, like, the pollution of your mind and instant gratification and you know, it's, it's really interesting. It's just one of the things that, like, you probably can't catch it because it's so somber and, like, there's not a lot of lyrics, but mm-hmm. that's what it's about. But, again, not to get preachy. I know people are like, oh, great, you're telling me that I'm... No, which, live which, your which life, is, bro. You're, which, again, that I'm not trying to... I, I wouldn't try to do that to anybody because I'm not trying to have anybody do that to me, and, I, and I'm not, like, trying to be a hypocrite. It's just, you know, you have to be able to point out that, hey, I like, I'm trying to support you, and I'm literally trying to help. Like, we're out here to help. This isn't something that's like, hey, you know, we're not we're not out here preaching to the choir talking about what you're doing is wrong. It's just, you know, if that's what you want to do for a living, great, go for it. But like I said, at some point, it's going to have to turn into work and it's going to have to become a job. And there are going to be days where obviously you don't want to do it, this, that and the other. But you have to understand that if that's what you want to do, it's kind of and it's and it's so funny. (laughs) And again, this is going to sound extra fucking preachy. Because I've seen sex workers make fun of people who stream or make YouTube videos where it's like, well, that's not a real fucking job. Like I like it's more work for me as a sex worker than it is for them to fucking play video games all day. No, sir. Leave people alone. And but I'm laughing because we're talking about like if you want it bad enough, you gotta make it a work and we're fucking <laughs> slacking on this podcast. Oh, 100%. But, but 100%. again, like, I, 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 you know what? Full circle, back to the beginning. The, where was mental health issues? There was, I, yeah, there was a lot. A, there was a lot of jazz that happened. And if you guys want a mental health, like, special, we can probably do one called Men's Mental Health and You. Time to get mental. Because we can't say the R word. but <laughs> And I know what you're saying. He said men's mental health. Uh, you know, because I think it's uh, maybe a neglected topic it in is, our society, and, and you know, it is. And I don't know. I'm gonna have to drop some knowledge on you. This might be like a new thing. A lot of people probably don't know. But you, me, and Ryan, aka Bradley. Don't know if y'all know this, but we're men. <laughs> 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 So, but, like, on top of us being men, I think it's something that, like, it's, like, really looked over. Like, even, like, with mm-hmm. other men. Like, it's not something that, like, like there's very few people in a man's life where it's uh-huh. like, oh, let's talk about that, right? Right. But, like, 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 uh, like B was saying, that's probably, like, if that's something that you guys want, you know, let us know. Because um, I'm sure, like... It, that episode might go to some dark places, like if oh, we do 100%. personal examples, oh, or we just do general bias. But you know, it might not be as fun. But we would try our best to make it fun. So funny enough, funny <laughs> enough, that was my whole idea for when I wanted to like get back into streaming. That was going to be my whole thing. Was that it was just going to be like a mental health podcast type uh, thing, not a mental health podcast, but like you did be it was, a lot was, of like the dangers of mental health. What kind of sort of, like, yeah, kind of sort of where it's like. Hey man, like if you're having a like, come here if you're having a bad yeah. time. Like, and we'll just talk it out. Oh, dude. So, because like you can see me, uh-huh. and I'm like I'm gonna be like I'm like opening myself out to the world mm-hmm. kind of thing. And I think that's one of the things that I think has, I think it's really helped a lot of people. But anyway, no intro on that one if we do it. But uh, I probably because it'd be it'd be like who's bro, and all of a sudden yeah. So hey. anyway, suicide. So <laughs> <laughs> but like. A lot of it is slept on, though, like when it comes to men's mental health specifically. And people always be like, you can always reach out to me and talk to me. And it's like, but then you try to, and then like they're just it, like. Then it's weird. Yeah, it's like, whoa, then... I didn't you know it meant all this. I thought you were just saying, oh, I'm kind of sad today. And you're like, no, it goes deeper than that. Yeah. But it's because as men specifically, I know you got to say, oh, gender roles. Men. No, no, no. Literally, just shut up. Listen, this is what we have to go through, all right? Don't even try to pander. All right, motherfucker, this is us, all right? Bashi, bro. Check this out. So you'll have. <laughs> Like, you know, men are raising what you would consider toxic masculinity to where they would be told, you know, tough it up. We don't cry. You got to deal with it. And so sometimes there will be certain things that, you know, go in the brain and they make triggers. And then with those, they won't understand the emotions. Mm-hmm. And they'd be like, well, I got to just suck it up, be a man. And so 
like this is why he was saying sometimes other men, it's hard to just even get across because then you're like, this is what I'm going through. And that dude would be like, you bitch. You, you know bitch, why? He I'm going or, through it and I'm being a man. And you're like, I don't or, give a fuck. Or he doesn't understand those emotions. <laughs> exactly. So he, he can't process because he, it. Because he can't. Like he's not in a in a spot or has never been taught how to deal with his own emotions. So he's like, "Well, this is what I do. Just do that." And you're like, "It don't it don't work like that for uh-huh. me. Like I'm different than you." Uh-huh. And like, "Yeah, you know why you different? Because you 100 percent grade A bitch." And you're like, "Whoa!" And you're feeling worse about yourself. Yeah, he's probably feeling bad about himself. He's like, "I don't know," but I called him a bitch. So yeah, and then, you know. So so you know that might be something that 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 might happen. You know, I think it's especially for me. It's you know something that I think is is it's, it's very important and it's very I think it needs to like mental health in general, but it's more specifically like men's mental health. But maybe maybe we could find like a woman to get on the podcast and be like, hey, so we we talked about a men's mental health. One, you're the first woman on the podcast. Two, uh, give us your take on mental health, and hopefully we'll get lucky, and they will have some. You know, maybe you just find someone that knows about mental health or has their issues. Not just some random oh, like lady, I dude. No, right now we'll go over to the college <laughs> and we'll find ourselves a, a lady who got a got got a bachelor's in psychology. You know what we could do? <laughs> I wonder if we could like talk to the administration of UCCS, like set up a table and just be like, "Do you have do you deal with mental health problems? Come talk to us." I yeah, you I'm know, sure you could probably and, do and something that like way. That. It's not like, "Hey, we're not getting political. We're not doing anything." It's just, what's your experience with mental health? Like, well, what sure. have you got? And like. I'm sure, yo, we y'all are understanding. We are going through a creative process right now on yeah, here. Well, you got to think about it. So different stories from the sea sprang. So I know that when we first started this whole thing, mm-hmm. it was oh, we're funny. We like to goof. <laughs> we're 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 you know we out here memeing. We out here joshing. Turns out we got a little fan base going. Turns out people be listening and stuff. I could make which a is awesome. Post. Any women, you know, one. To- you know, and so, um. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to fucking say. Well, we started with the podcast. Okay, and okay. so so when we started with the podcast, we were like, okay, we're funny. And so it was going to be like a comedy podcast. Like, we wanted it to be something that people could listen to and where they could laugh at. The more podcasts I listen to, some of them have some really funny fucking moments in them. Some of them are some of the most serious fucking topics I've ever listened to. Some of them are the same, are those two things in the same goddamn episode. Yeah, like I saw Theo Vaughn talking about his dad dying. Exactly. And it's like, Theo Vaughn is a, that's literally his job. He tells jokes for a living. But he had a whole heart to heart thing. Shout and out so, to that guy. And I, so I think it's kind of one of those things where I think as time goes on, you have to, like, I think it'd be better for us. Uh-huh. And this is very us being, this is, this is my very, being me being very translucent and me being, this is my idea. Uh-huh. I think the more generalized we make the podcast, I think the more, because you, you've got to think about it. The more stuff you talk about, the more people are going to come in. Don't get me wrong. You could have a, a comedy podcast, but this is me being a fucking... This is me complaining. A lot of the people who have comedy podcasts are established people. And they are already they already have a fan base, and they're uh, already known as being funny. They got a lot of... Yeah, all y'all that told me, you should be on radio or something, and I did it, and y'all didn't... <laughs> you know, like my mom always used to tell me, son, yeah, for you got a face for radio. You know, speaking of, <laughs> moms be telling you some of the weirdest stuff, and it don't hit as hard as, like, some of y'all might not know this experience, and this is just me just trying to be woke. Some of y'all don't know what it's like to have your father around, but when your dad, like, as a man, when your dad tell you, like, the same thing your mom did, it just hit different. Like, my mom be like, you're a good-looking guy. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But your dad says, yo, you're a good-looking dude. And you're like, oh. I'm gonna be real honest right now. <laughs> Your dad never I don't said think, you I don't, think I don't think he's ever said that to me. My dad did because I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. I was cheated on. All right. And so <laughs> it's happened a few times, but the most recent one really just kind of put me over the edge because again, we'll cross that bridge when it's time. Uh-huh. Um and I was talking to my dad and I was like, you know, this just kind of sucks. It is what it is. I was like, you know, I, I don't even know why I put myself in that position. And my dad's like, stop. And I look at him and I'm like, what's up? He's like, nah, dude. Just chill out. He's like, you're young. You're a good looking dude. And I was like, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a what? He's like, you're a good looking dude. And I'm like, my dad, like, people will have considered, he, they consider my dad really handsome. Mm-hmm. But for my pops to look at me, my dad, a black man, look right at me, 
rings in his hand and everything, looking like Pimp C. Like, <laughs> hey, you a good looking dude. I was like, ooh, because my mom told me growing up, oh, you good looking, you good looking, you good looking. Yeah, but I feel like that's like a mom thing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. When it comes from your pops, it's a little different. I mean, yeah, but I, 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 I don't know. And I think it's one of those things that life advice, depending on who you get it from mm-hmm. and when you get it, can hit different. Like, mm-hmm. there's certain life advices that, or, like, certain pieces of life advice that I've gotten from, like, friends mm-hmm. over the years that have, like, hit way harder than, like, if my, like, parents had given it to me. Yeah. Or if a family member had given it to me. Or even life advice that they gave you when you were younger. You're and like, that's it, hogwash. And, and then, then it all of a sudden comes into play. Um, I like, I mean, I've, I've, I, I've never had to give my dad advice necessarily, but I've definitely had to be like, look, man, this is what happened. You had no control over this shit. You know, I don't think any less of you for, for, for doing that. And that was like a really weird time in my life. Because you got to think, like, you remember as a kid, like, you didn't really have conversations with your parents. Yeah, it was just general, like, I'm home from school. I'm home from school. Like, school's okay. What do you want for dinner? What do I want for dinner? Yeah. Am I going to go, am I able to go hang out with this person? Um, can I watch this show? Stuff like that. And then as you get and older. And then as you get older, it's like, oh, fuck, like, I could have a full-blown <laughs> conversation with this person. Because oh. it's like, it's a, just, it's another person. Well, yeah, because... And I, I with my mom specifically because I hang out with her more than my dad because my dad he just he always he busy. busy dude he got all his stuff going on but like I like go up to Denver with my mom and we're just talking and it's not anything like worth it so like it's always about like the weirdest stuff yeah because like as a kid my mom watched like those true crime stuff scared me to death but now as like an adult I'm like addicted to the true crime stuff I'm like yo this is crazy they caught this guy and I'm like <laughs> I'm explaining to my mom. This whole case from the 80s. And I'm like, and they got this guy. And my mom's like, yeah, I know. I was alive then. Like, I was like, yeah, but shut up. Listen, mom. They got him. Like, like I'll use this guy. They called him the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez. Mm. And I was like, mom, they whooped his ass. Because if y'all don't know the story, he was a serial killer. He uh, he left the state for something. He went on a trip. And then they, like, ID'd him, uh, like, where he, like, left from. And so they drew uh, wanted posters. And they are like, this is the guy. He comes back home, lands, doesn't think anything of it, goes to a convenience store one day, and he's, like, trying to buy something, looks up, sees his poster, and then the clerk sees it, looks at him, and all these people in the store see it, and then he just books it, and these people start chasing him <laughs> down the road, and this whole neighborhood just gets out there. Some dude grabs his flagpole off his house and jumps the fence, and he, like, falls down. And they just start whooping this guy, street justice. And so I'm explaining to my mom, I'm like, yeah, so they're they're beating his ass. And she's like, yeah, I know. I've known about this. And I'm like, I'm trying to converse with you. <laughs> yeah, because like, like for me, like I, I, I have conversations with my dads about, typically it's about like general, like typical, like stereotypical, like man stuff. A lot of the times it's about sports yeah, or it's about, you know, like life happenings. Yeah. Like, you know, hey, this is what's, like, going on, like, with, like, my money, or this is what's going on with, like, you know, our football team. These are the ideas that I've been having about this or that. With my mom, though, smorgasbord. It is the charcuterie <laughs> board of conversation. I can talk to my mom, for the most part, about pretty much anything. Yeah. And a lot of the times, I'll catch myself kind of just, like, rambling <laughs> exactly. about, about a fucking topic that I think is, like... Kind of interesting, or like, mom just like, or this is happy like, or talking exactly. to her. <laughs> this is, that's all it is. My mom is just happy that she's able to talk to her boy. But that's right. You talk to your dad. It's like you have to with your you pop. Have to, you, you have, have to, to have a common ground. You to have, talk you, about. Have to, you have to engage with the man. Yeah, like there has to be common ground <laughs> where you're talking about. But your mom is just happy you're there. Like you're just, you're just like, yo. So I found out this thing about space. Your mom was like, oh yeah, boom, conversation. I go for my dad. I'm like. Go out of space, and he just look at me and go, be like, "What you, you be- talking about space for?" I'd be like, "You believe in that shit?" Bro? Yeah, like, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, "Yeah, they're like, don't you, know, don't you know the Earth is flat?" <laughs> yeah, it's flat. But I can tell my dad, like, yeah, like they do this with space, and he nods you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, check this out, and he'll show me a basketball game, and he's like, "Yeah, so this. I'm like, yeah." And I mean, <laughs> it might, and like for me, like my dad is, like he, like he, he generally likes learning about uh-huh. all kinds of crap. He's a real big history guy. Yeah, 
but he just likes learning about interesting facts. Yeah. So there has been times where I'll be bringing up like an interesting fact, and I'll be like, "Hey, this is what this guy did," <laughs> or "Did you know that in this movie, in this scene, this is what happens?" Because your dad goes, and "This is my favorite thing." Your dad makes some sound sometimes, but whenever he's learning something, like whether it's from you, IMDb, whatever, I hear your dad. He go, "Ah." Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. That's how you know he's listening because he goes, ah, like he'll stop. His jaw drops. He, his head tilts up a little bit. Ah, huh. and he nods. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and I think, and that's, and like, I mean, because uh, my dad just go, cool, cool. Yeah, because uh, I, I don't know. Maybe he gets that from his dad because I remember talking to him about um, it was uh, because we had gone down to Florida when when uh, when uh, I was in high school. <clears throat> Or I guess when we were in high school, technically speaking, but we got down to Florida to to visit them, and mm-hmm. I was talking to him about uh, a, a friend of mine who mm-hmm. had like he was just like you know he listens to like a lot of old music, and my grandpa, I shit you not, thought that was the most interesting thing he had ever heard in his life. He goes, "Wow, mm-hmm. really?" He's like, "Well, you know," and he's like asking questions. He's like, "Well, what like what like brought him on to that?" And I said. I'm not going to lie to you, Grandpa. I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't get that far in the conversation with my friend. I just thought it was interesting. Wow. <laughs> and then it was funny because he came out. Uh, my whole dad's side of the family came out um, uh-huh. two years ago. So it was 2019. And so we hadn't seen uh, the uh, the vast majority of those guys in. You know, I hadn't seen my grandparents. And at that point, it was it had, it had almost been 10 years. Um you know, there were some other family members who I had never met, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the time, in high school, didn't have a beard. <laughs> now it's I'm a grown-up. I have a beard and tattoos. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. Yeah, but I'm an adult. And so, oh my dude, and they, it was like the most astounding thing. It was like, it was like they were like, oh my god. you were like, It was like, because, you know, they only see like pictures and stuff. Uh-huh. And it's one of those things where like, you don't see like a family member, or, like say a friend for a really long time. And they're just seeing pictures and stuff. And like you like, see, it's kind of like when you like see something that you really, really want. Mm-hmm. And then you're finally there or you finally get it. And you're like, oh my god, this is real. This <laughs> is happening. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> and that's kind of how I felt when I went up to Minnesota. And we finally, well, so A, it was fucking cold outside yeah. of the stadium when we were waiting. And then we finally got into the stadium and oh my God. Warm. It was A, it was warm, which was nice. But just, dude, it was just, it was it, like the feeling is just, it's so hard to describe. And so it's just, it's, I think it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I think people are just always interested. Like people, like regardless of who it is, uh-huh. someone is always interested in something that you got to say. You just got to find the person who's interested. And that's what we're trying to do with this. Hopefully we found at least one more and I, interested and I, and I, party. And I, think, and I think a lot of people are, for the most part, because I think people, and I, I I, will fucking die on this hill. <laughs> I know people don't like talk radio. <laughs> I have loved talk radio forever. I just thought that it, I wouldn't, I, okay, maybe I wouldn't say forever. But there was a point in my life where something just kind of clicked. And I thought to myself, fucking talk radio is kind of cool. No, I... And on top of that, uh-huh. I think it's just one of those things that people just like hearing conversations. Yeah. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like people watching. It's no different, especially if they just like you. Just feel like you're part of the, like the, the conversation. Like, oh yeah, and especially if the conversation's flowing. And or I think if it's interesting, just like an interesting mm-hmm. topic. Like, and I think and and I honestly again, I know there's a lot of people out there who fucking hate Joe Rogan because of his quote unquote political beliefs and his mm-hmm. leanings and all that stuff. Honest to God, I do not even care 99% of the time. Yeah. What it is is I just – the person that he's talking – like he talked to this guy uh-huh. about fucking ancient civilizations the other day. And the whole conversation from beginning to end was so fucking cool. And it, I, there's been podcasts where I've listened to where I literally do not want that particular p- part of the conversation to end. Yeah. And it's just – I think it's – like I said, it's like people watching. I think that people – are just really into listening to people talk. Don't get me wrong. There is some dumb fucking shit that is said where it's like, dude, I can't believe this fucking person is talking right now. <laughs> I do not want this person to talk. I want them to shut up. Oh, it happens a lot. but It's always just fun. Interesting because like talk radio specifically, I kind of had like a mini affinity for it because my dad, um, he would take me with him sometimes. 
um, like some nights to one of his business things that he would do because he would uh, do stuff for the dentist like because he's maintenance. So we'd go with like dentist's clothes, we'd get everything done, and then you know, would leave. And so the talk radio we'd listen to every night was Clark Howard. Mm-hmm. And so I'm a little kid hearing about like how to use your credit cards wisely. <laughs> and I just be sitting there like not even knowing what's going on. I'm like seven and I'm like enthralled, like uh-huh. and, like talking about credit card debts. Yeah, oh, yeah, because yeah, because my dad he was he was obsessed with uh it's Dave a comedy. <laughs> no, no, he was it was a it's a it's a comedy radio show that's on in the mornings. Uh-huh. Um the Bob and Tom show. So like they're all kind of funny. Um, in their own little special way, but they'll like bring on like comedians, uh-huh. and they'll just like have like funny situations that they talk about. Like they'll like talk about like funny odd news uh-huh. stories and stuff like that. And I think that for me was where it was kind of like, wow, this is like actually really fucking funny. But at the same time, it was just really interesting, and it was really fun to listen to other conversations. And the fact that it's like, dude, they work some of the best hours on the planet. Because you got to think, those people, they maybe work eight hours a day, but you think about it. The show starts at five in the morning, so you're maybe there an hour or so beforehand, getting everything kind of set up, so work starts at four. You only work until fucking, you know, noon. Yeah. Then you get the rest of the day. All to your damn self. Zero chance that's not fucking cool. Or if you're just on a regular talk show or whatever. Yeah. It's just, it's something to me that is just, it's it's always been this, especially like the older I've gotten. Uh Uh-huh. It's just been something that is is I've always just been I've, I just feel more and more drawn to yeah. you. and not the cutting went short but, but things yeah, I was, are I was, I was, I was just things are starting to heat it's, up it's, out it's, there. it's getting a little chaotic uh, dogs outside just of, barking babies outside just of the, crying outside of the fucking turned, Walmart uh, studio we got going on right now because so, we're gonna have to go drop the news yo that that no, I'm not even nope as, as far as I'm concerned I'm not gonna say shit they're gonna see the post <laughs> exactly you're gonna see the post and that's it and it's gonna be like dude. Like, you were supposed to be here. Anyway, yeah. we're done talking about that. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Make sure that if you do listen to this on YouTube, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, oh, what the fuck? Uh, comment, like the video. Uh, if you listen to this on Spotify, make sure that you share it with all of your friends, family, whoever the hell you think might find this interesting. Tweet at us, Instagram us, Tweet, whatever. Exactly. Let us know follow you us, out there. Follow us on all social media platforms. We've got a Facebook page, Instagram page, Twitter page. I know there's a lot of podcasts out there, but we're trying to compete. Yes, sir. Like, there exactly. are some that might be better than us, have more equipment. But you know what? We they out ain't here. us. We out here. Like I told my ex when she told me about her ex, I ain't that guy. <laughs>